Okay, let's have a look at the first question here. A train takes 40 minutes to travel from rest at station A to rest at station B. The distance between the stations is 20 kilometers. The train left station A at 10 o'clock and at 10.15 the speed of the train was 32. At 10.30 the speed of the train was 48. Draw the, the graph. Maintain. Yeah, okay, so if we just read the story here. Uh, it starts at rest and makes it up to 32. And that took 15 minutes or a quarter of an hour if we're using hours. The, this is time in hours. And then this one will be speed in kilometers per hour. So um, the uh, train left at 10.15, 3 32. And then um, speed then becomes... 48 um, and then it maintains the speed until oh and that's uh, for another 15 minutes so now we're at the half hour mark and then it maintains that speed and then comes to rest and that's 40 minutes so that's two thirds of an hour okay it's a, sorry it's a little bit messy but I think that takes care of the first part I find the time taken uh, for the first 16 kilometers. So let's get the distances here. Um, don't want to screw this up now, so I'll get out my calculator. Okay, so the area for the the first triangle is four kilometers. And then if I separate this now, 0 0.25 times 32, that's 8 kilometers. And then half the base by the height, 48 minus 32, that's 2 kilometers. So, whoops, the km, 2 kilometers. So, it seems that so far I have... 14 kilometers in this area here so that means the remaining piece has to be uh, 6 because it's a it's a 20 kilometer journey in total now now we're looking for the first 16 kilometers so as I was saying um, we've had 14 kilometers so far what I don't know is Will the next two kilometers happen here during the phase when the train is traveling at a constant speed? Or would it actually happen like here? Um, that's what I, I don't know. Um, so I kind of feel like if it's possible, I would like to find first this time here first um, if I can so this side here I'll call it X this length here and then uh, well actually maybe yeah no I'll call it maybe maybe it make more sense to call this one X and then the middle piece there will be 2 over 3 minus 1 over 4 minus oh, sorry not minus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 2 so 2 thirds is 40 minutes minus half an hour that's uh, 10 minutes so this piece here is 1 over 6 minus x so if you if you add this distance up here that's half an hour plus 1 over 6 minus x plus x you should get 2 over 3. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6. Yeah, 2 over 3. Okay, so let's calculate now. Um, 48 times 1 over 6 minus x plus a half x times 48 
that should equal six kilometers. Okay, so that's going to be 8x minus 48x plus 24x equals 6. Uh, no x here, sorry, just 8. Uh, okay, 24 minus 48. So that's 24x if you take it to the right, it's 2. So x is 1 over 12. Okay, so 1 over 12. 1 over 6 minus 1 over 12 is 1 over 12 plus 1 over 2. So it means that this time here is 7 over 12 then. 7 twelfths of an hour. Okay. Right, so I've, I've worked out this no, actually, sorry, that X is for this piece here, so maybe I've done that wrong. Let's, uh, let me just go back to what I had a moment ago. Yeah, 1 over 6 minus X, yeah, so 1 over 6 minus 1 over 12 is 1 over 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, interestingly, so they're both... Uh, they're both 1 over 12. Okay, that's interesting. So I didn't make a mistake. It turns out that they're equal lengths of time. They're both one twelfth of an hour. Okay, so as I was saying, this takes us up to seven twelfths of an hour. But the width here, although it doesn't look like it, they're both one twelfth of an hour wide. So one over twelve times forty eight is four kilometers. That means the 16, I was right. Uh, when I first did this question, I assumed, I should have said, actually, this is my second attempt at the question. But when I first did this question, I assumed that the 16 happened during this phase. But then I realized afterwards, oh, maybe it didn't actually. So because that distance is four, um, I'm going to split it up now. So, 2, 2, and 2. Interesting. So now I can get this. Uh, I need to get this time here now. Okay, so if we just call this thickness here T time is distance over speed uh, that's one twelfth <laughs> keep going no no not one twelfth sorry one, one twenty fourth one twelfth wouldn't have made sense it's, of course it's in the middle it's symmetric it's half of a twelfth yeah of course it is so if I add that on, then it'll be a half plus a twenty-fourth of an hour. So that is 32.5 minutes. Good. And then lastly, the deceleration, no need to put the minus in because they said deceleration. It'll be rise over run. Um, so that's 48 over, and remember this is a 12th, a 24th and a 24th of an hour. So 48 over a 12th, which is 576 kilometers per hour squared. Um, yeah, okay, so my graph isn't beautiful. Uh, the answer to part two is there, 32 and a half minutes, and then for part three is there. And this is a very ugly graph for part one.
Okay, I, I, I think that's correct. I hope that's correct. Let's finish there.